All right, strap yourselves in for this one. A major part of America's whole strategy for competing with China is sitting right outside of Siler City over in Chatham County, and it might have just blown up on the launch pad. If you've never heard about wolf speed, it's time to learn. It all starts with computer chips. Computer processors run the whole world around us, including the pocket supercomputer you're probably watching this on right now. Now, America leads the world in the design and R&D of advanced semiconductors and computer chips, but we only produce about 10% of the world's supply. The vast majority of the world's computer chips are made in East Asia, especially in Taiwan, which is kind of a problem if you know where Taiwan is. Long global supply chains are not a great thing for a critical economic resource, especially when China is right next door. Side note here, if you want a basic understanding of the global semiconductor industry, I highly recommend Chip War. It's a really good primer on this stuff. There's broad agreement that we should make more advanced computer chips here in the U.S. So under the Biden administration, Congress passed the Chips and Science Act, which provided incentives for our private chip makers to invest in manufacturing here in the U.S. instead of overseas. And that brings us to North Carolina. Cree was this big company founded almost 40 years ago in Durham by a couple of state grads, and they used to make advanced LED lights. The big shimmer wall on Raleigh's Convention Center was made with Cree's LED lights. So Cree realized that LEDs were fine, but the margins in the advanced chip industry were a lot better, and it turns out that a lot of the manufacturing processes were kind of similar. Plus, they could get chips funding to make the switch. So Cree changed their name to Wolfspeed, and they committed to being a major American domestic chip maker. And they bet the company on building two of the biggest chip fabrication plants in the world, one in upstate New York and one down the road in Siler City. The scale of this plant is insane. It's 2 million square feet. It cost them $5 billion to build, and it's there. You can go visit it. Now, for a plant that size, you need thousands of employees, and you can't just pay minimum wage for the kind of work they're going to be doing. The company estimates the jobs of the plant will have a median annual wage of $77,000. But now, Wolfspeed's in big trouble. First, the Trump tariffs have really hurt Wolfspeed's whole business model. And second, the administration says that it wants to repeal the CHIPS Act entirely, which would knock out a big chunk of the company's financing. So the company actually went into bankruptcy the other week to restructure its debt. Now investors aren't sure if the company will survive or not. They seem to have all the pieces in place and they've made these giant plants, but no one in Washington seems to care anymore about competing with China. Here on the state level, the economic future of rural communities across North Carolina is just really uncertain. And if we fumble the opportunity to build a manufacturing base there, the alternative might be people just leaving these communities for good. 